Welcome to Isha Training Solutions guys. This is Kumar Gupta and today I am going to talk about one of the interview question. Okay, and uh, we as an Isha will provide trainings for all the usually most of the performance testing tools. Um, recently started a JMeter training as well. Just one class has been done. Uh, coming back, so this is the question from one of the dear students of mine, Raj Kunavar. And here is the question. Hi Kumar, I've been facing one question for many times in my interview. What is the approach if controller got crashed before collecting the results? Okay, so before controller collect the results from the LGs, it got crashed. So what is your approach? Ideally, like, you know, I'll go ahead and run the test, but I don't think that's what the interviewer is expecting. Uh, you know, uh, this is the question. Okay, what is your approach? What in, in, in case if you're wondering what is this collating okay let's go let's look at this guys let's say you are running the test with uh, you are using two lgs uh, for your scenario lg1 and lg2 okay if you understand uh, the, the the load runner architecture really well so what it is is the scripts from the controller will be downloaded to the lg1 machine and lg2 machine and the scripts will be actually executed on these LG machines, which means that the results will be collected on these LG machines. Once the test is done, the controller collects the results from this LG1 and LG2. Let's say the results from LG1 is results 1, okay, and the results from LG2 is results 2, okay. So the controller will collect this results 1, okay, let's say R1 and R2, okay. Instead of saying results 1, let me put it as R1, okay, and then R2, okay. So, while the test is going on, LG1, it has created its own results, which is LG1, uh, sorry, R1, and LG2 has created its own results, R2. Controller, after the whole test is done, it will collate, collate as in collect, collect the results from LG1 and LG2, which is R1 and R2. So, it will combine these results and show a final results to the performance tester okay so if the if the controller is crashed we expect that the collation will fail okay so <coughs> what do we do when this collation fails okay if you look at the uh, let's go ahead and run the test make sure the controller crashes and then uh, we'll go and see what happens okay so we are running a soap test with three scripts cancel flight register user and booking flight okay and then uh, and if you look at it these two for these two scripts we are using localhost as an LG and for this one we are using some other LG which is 127.0.0.4 or whatever it is okay so we are two using two LGs not LG1 LG2 localhost and 127.0.0.4 okay and results will go ahead and make sure the results are so test results okay let's say the results name and it is there in the temp folder let me copy this and then Okay, let's go ahead and, okay, so test results, one is what I'd say, okay, so let's go ahead and run it, okay, and uh, let's not wait for a long time, so let's make sure, let's not wait for the ramp up time, let's, let's run it, let's, let's not wait for the ramp up time, we are forcing all the users to go, go into the run state, okay, so we'll see some past transactions, some failed transactions, okay. So I'm pushing all the users to run state without the ramp up. To be honest, you wait till the ramp up is done and then make sure all the users go from down to run. But you know, the, the, the idea here is to crash the load controller to see what happens, not to execute one. So I'm, I'm pushing all the users to the run state, okay. So this some activity happened and uh, we are into 41 seconds into, into the test, okay. Let's, let's make sure we crash this. Uh, test okay let's go to the task manager okay and uh, let's look at the controller okay here is the load runner controller process okay go to the process of load runner which is wl run okay wl run.exe these days in some of the interviews they will ask you as well what is the process for controller it is wl run okay what is the process for lg it is mmdrv anyways so let's crash this one okay so now the controller has crashed the, the, the results. I mean, so we don't have, I mean, the controller has crashed halfway through. So let's see what we have to do, okay? So the results are there in the temp folder. I've already copied that, 
okay so here is my temp folder and if you remember the results directory is soap test results one and if you see as well it's it's 401 pm just got done okay <coughs> if i'm trying to open this results i'm expecting that it will throw an error okay yes there is an error and let's see the error what is the error the error says that in the file c user blah 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 uh, here is the here is the file which is soap test results dot lrr file it doesn't have a stop time okay that is the problem and also most likely the results uh, the collation has not done okay so usually the results the, whatever the results are there it is stored in this dot ebe file okay so i have used two lgs one is the local host and whatever the results are there it is the localhost dot ebe i mean the res results from the localhost file is over here which is localhost dot ebe okay and then and then i have used another lg which is 127.0.0.4 so we need to bring that results since the collation has failed okay we need to bring that results over here so <coughs> let's see where the results from that lg file is there okay so you have to go to this file called remote results double click on it and here it will you see the local host here is the results from the local host which is localhost.ebe which is this one okay and here is the results from this 127.0.0.4 actually you have to log into this machine this is log into this lg and then go to this folder okay go to this folder and then open that okay so you see this is the this is the results actually you know in the i've i've cut this video and then i have logged into the lg file and this is the this is the file you see it is there in this particular folder copy it okay now again i'll uh, i'll immediately cut the video guys stop it and back into my uh, controller okay so yes Yes. Now I'm back into my uh, controller machine. Okay. Back into my controller machine. Now we have to copy this .evv file here. Okay. This is this is the results file from the LG machine, which is 127.0.4, and this is from the local machine. Okay. So uh, if you see, there are three EVE files. These two are important. This is from one LG, and this is from another LG. Okay. Now you open this load on the results file automatically all both this will be collated and it will be shown in this results file but if you double click on it it will still error out because you don't have you don't have a stop time okay so what i'll do is i'll open this in a notepad plus plus file this dot lrr file i'll open that in a notepad plus plus file okay and there are two things that i will do first i'll make this full data one okay and also stop add the stop time okay so add the stop time and by the way by the way this time is the epoch time guys this time is epoch time which will be in seconds so if you remember my test has crashed probably 60 minutes 60 seconds after the test has started so i'll have to add 60 over here so if you see 60 uh, how much will be uh, 89 is what i have to make stop time okay start time is this time and end time is you have added 60 seconds okay so now it will get the results for those 60 seconds okay go ahead and start it now it will display the results now it will display the results guys okay now you see it has not crashed so that's about it guys 